Okay, so you're a Hemi guy, not a 426 Hemi guy, but a Gen 3 576164 or even Hellcat guy. Today we're looking at Mal, Molly, Mala. Depends on where you are, how you pronounce that. We're looking at their 61 forged aluminum Hemi pistons. Comes in a box like this. Let's open it up, check it out what's inside. So, like anything German engineering, everything is precision, even the packaging. You see only the outside UPS box comes with any tape. Here, this box is designed to hold everything in, and there's not even any tape or glue on the thing. So, we open up the box and see what comes inside. So with it open, here is the instructions. These are Molly's Power Pack Pistons. It's a drop-in 6.1 liter forged aluminum approximately 10 to 1 compression piston. It's designed so you can put it in your stock Hemi engine without having to rebalance the rotating assembly to get rid of the hyper-eutectic pistons that you either are worried about breaking, having detonation, cause them to fail, or you just want to do something better than what came in the factory motor. Starts with each individual piston, all individually wrapped with love and care. German love and care. Start with this, so it's a aluminum forging. It's forged from 4032 aluminum alloy. It's then CNC machined and hand deburred to take off all of the rough edges. You'll know that it's got a gray phosphate coating. This is not a thermal barrier or an anti-friction surface. This is to reduce wear and also act as a slight lubricant. If you want, you can machine through this coating without worry of compromising it. You'll also see two other coatings on these forged pistons. You'll see on both skirts, there is a darker gray coating. This is what's known as a Grafal skirt coating. This is a friction reducer. It will reduce wear as the piston is traveling up and down in the cylinder and will also quiet the piston as it's moving up and down and rocking back and forth in each cylinder. This is a wearable surface, but it's supposed to last the life of the engine. You'll notice on the bottom of the piston and this forging, that's, you won't have the phosphate coating 100% everywhere. Again, that's by design and intentional. There's one last coating. This one's my favorite. This top ring land on these pistons is hard anodized. Now what hard anodizing is, is basically a chemical oxidation process where you super cool and oxidize the base aluminum so that it forms a hard coating. Kind of looks like a cookware surface because that's what it is. The pots and pans, the high-end ones in your house have a hard anodized surface. So it should come as no surprise that these pistons have that as well in this high stress area. As we look at the face of the piston, this flat top, you'll notice the valve reliefs are both the intake valve and the exhaust valve of a third gen Hammy. There are eight more pistons. Also in the box comes eight pre-fit, high quality, German steel pins. They're light, precise, and difficult to get out of the bag. The finish is designed to slide right in to the CNC finish pin bores. And Mall is very proud of this fit, and as you can see, very low friction, very free fitting, but also precise, very tight all at the same time. These pins is what connects the piston to the connecting rod that will come out the bottom. You can use your factory rod or use this as an opportunity to upgrade the connecting rods as well. To retain the pin in the piston, Molly uses these round, proven wire locks that go in on either side to retain this floating pin. You use two per piston. Now the last part of the equation is the ring pack. 
Now again, because this is a drop-in piston kit, it's designed to go right into where the factory pistons came out. So these are OE style piston rings. So when you take these out of the box, you gotta make sure you don't screw this up, because this is not critical, but for the first timers amongst us, if you're worried about which ring goes where and how they go there, Molly's got you covered. And you'll see, number one, top piston ring. Section two, middle ring. Section three is the oil ring. And we see there's a little piece of paper in here, a little secret note. Good to open that up and let's see what this is about. It says, contains new information. Looks like it's in both English and contains new information. Basically what this is saying is that each section of rings is directional and they are marked. The top piston rings are marked for the top, in this case, with a small dimple that you probably can't see, but is in the top on one side of the ring, not on the bottom side. This goes up towards the cylinder head on the top of the piston. It would go like this in this top groove. Second ring, again, look for the mark, look for the dimple right here. This goes in the second ring land right here. And then the third, these oil rings, which are three pieces for each location, goes in this bottom, the largest ring groove. Again, keep everything clean and precise because that's how they made it for you. It's perfect right now, don't screw it up. So as you can see, for those of you with a 6.1 Hemi engine, whether it's in a factory application, a Grand Cherokee, a Magnum Wagon, an SRT Challenger, Charger, or Chrysler 300, or even in your hot rod project, if you killed the pistons, if you're worried about the pistons, if you're gonna use nitrous, if you're thinking about you know, really overstressing the, the engine with cylinder pressure, don't worry about using the factory pistons. These are too easy too available, too precise not to just drop in into your motor, make it good, make it reliable, and no matter how you say it, mala mala mala, they got you covered.